In this video, I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step process of building an automated system that can run 24 seven and can generate potentially an unlimited number of highly qualified LinkedIn and email leads without almost no human intervention. Because after sending many millions of LinkedIn DMs and emails in the last seven years, I came up with this system that helps me on a daily basis. So first I'm going to explain the whole system and what we're building. And then I'm gonna explain all pieces and walk you through it so you can replicate it on your end. First of all, I'm going to explain the whole system, how all the parts connect with each other, how data is flowing, so you'll have clear understanding how everything is working and you'll be able to replicate the system for yourself and create a lean, mean lead generation machine that can generate unlimited number of leads because it can run an autopilot 24 seven. First things first, we need an input. We are going to follow the principle of starting with companies. So we're going to qualify some companies and in a moment I'm going to explain an example that we're going to use for this exercise we can use sales navigator to find companies and qualify them or maybe we can use clay and its company search and find suitable companies once we do that we are going to find inside clay people from those qualified companies and also enrich their information and use waterfall for trying to find their valid business email addresses inevitably we will end up with two groups of people with and without valid business email addresses and we are going to utilize two channels for outreach email and linkedin those people with valid email addresses will go to smart lead you can use any other platform of your choice for cold email automation everyone else are going directly from clay to hayreach and then we need a central place to act as a glue in between all of these platforms that don't have necessarily native integrations in between themselves we are going to use n810 for that you'll be able to download this workflow and import into your N8N account and replicate everything yourself, then we don't want to leave any leads behind. That's why we're going to push those people into Hayreach. And Hayreach is a great platform that allows us to connect a lot of senders and scale LinkedIn outreach so we can cover and overcome this usual bandwidth issue with LinkedIn. So bounced people will go to Hayreach. Also, people that receive all of the steps in our sequences, email sequences, but they didn't respond to us, then they are going to Hayreach as well. Well, and also it would be a shame not to save all the relevant information about these people in a CRM of our choice. In this case, we are going to use HubSpot. And then to be able to act quickly when we receive a reply from either channel, we are going to use Slack as to just get notifications. Let's start with the idea and the practical example. I'm going to use an amalgamation of different scenarios that we're using for different clients. The common denominator between them is that they're doing something regarding digital marketing. One qualification step for us is to see if a certain company is running ads. If we go here and let's say I took mental health care businesses and mindfulness businesses, just a small fraction or a small tiny batch of companies, and I've added websites of those companies in Clay, then we want to enrich information about these companies. We can use Clay's built-in enrich company option to get company name, LinkedIn, Facebook, all social platforms URLs of those companies. Now, what is the easiest way to find out if a company is actually running ads? We have three major publishers. We have Meta, LinkedIn, and we have Google. We will cover Meta here. If you're interested, just drop a comment and I can cover all other relevant publishers. So for Facebook, if we take a look at the company website, every page, company page on LinkedIn has this about section. And inside this about section, we have page transparency and we can see this sentence here that says this page is currently running ads. This is really helpful. We can use this to determine automatically if this is qualified business for us. So we need to get this Facebook business profile page to get this information. And then this is just a formula that says just add this string at the end of the URL. And then we are using Zenro Scraper to get this body text from this page. And we have a formula here that says says, does this body text includes this page is currently running ads sentence? If it does, then it's true. So they're running ads false if this sentence is not contained. And also what we can do in case of meta is pull this information, this page ID, unique page ID for this business. So what we can do then is to use meta ads library. The good thing about this meta ads library that in parameters of URL, we can set page ID. So unique ID 
and instead of just searching for this name of the company page if we put this unique url that we extracted from their page we have all information about all of their ads in theory everything that we see here all the information including visuals we can pull with certain actors and then we can push some information in different tables and maybe we can use clagent or chat gpt to prompt to summarize this information to find patterns so we can use that in our copy and mention hey i've noticed that you're running the same ad for this long or whatever based on our offer basically we do that we qualify those companies and we find people we can use filtering just to first see all companies running ads and then find people from those companies using clays in native people search and set titles and everything that we're interested in and we get something like this then we are running a waterfall some people will have email addresses some people will not those with email addresses we're going to push to smart lead in this case everyone else are going to hey reach if our offer is applicable to people not running ads then we can do the same thing just filter out companies find people and repeat the whole process if you go back to our workflow we did this part now inside hey reach and smart lead we need to set up our web hooks and we're getting to our n8n scenario inside hey reach i can have multiple running campaigns for different types of businesses here we have a web hook that is is listening for events and based on events we have a, this switch module that is just branching depending on type of event that is happening for example if we say message reply received let's say connection request sent we need to save this before testing the webhook important we need to click this test workflow otherwise we'll get an error here test workflow workflow is listening for events test webhook connection request sent the same thing we can do when someone accepts all our connection request this is important for us usually to have an ability to easily filter out people in the CRM who are we contacted in the past who to push to LinkedIn in the future etc etc so we have this connection request accepted again important information so we know in an easy way to filter out people in a CRM who accepted our connection request so again we have a little bit more here happening because we're parsing our replies and notifying ourselves on slack so when it comes to smart lead this is an example that can be applied to hey reach as well this is just for the idea is webhooks we're listening to certain events like email sent replied bounced and end of campaign for replies this is pretty similar when sent is like connection request sent on linkedin but when it comes to replies we can utilize ChatGPT to determine sentiment of the reply positive negative or neutral to recognize is it out of the office reply or not so what we built for our clients is if it's out of the office parse the contents of the email and then based on dates use api of smart lead then just pause this lead until this date for bounced and no replies we are pushing them to hey reach for example let me just really quickly run this example we will say email bounced we'll say test workflow send test webhook so this is just a brief demonstration how everything is working how it's connected all good no errors when we receive an event we are using this built-in switch module and basically this is something that we are getting from hey reach based on their api specification the names of events so connection request sent accepted received etc that's how we build this branching when it comes to hubspot it's pretty straightforward i don't want to bore you with all the programming stuff you can just take it and run with it the similar thing is here where we have connect the linkedin custom property inside hubspot we're just searching linkedin by email address from the person that responded when it comes to getting existing replies this is something a little bit of magic and data manipulation why because let me just go back here test this out message reply received let's run this test webhook okay let's return here because we tested this we have test data coming from hey reach hey reach sends us an array of messages because on linkedin we have a thread we sent a message someone replied back then we replied back and then they replied back and so this is an array a bundle of messages so every message has creation time it has text value the, the exact message and is it a reply or not if it's false that means we send the message if they replied back it's true what we're first doing we're just searching hubspot 
based on email address and getting these fields back. And so this is something that we can check. And we have this test person here. This is some existing value inside the HubSpot field that I've created as custom field. Here, we're just getting LinkedIn reply, existing one. Then we are going to parse replies because this is coming as existing replies and to return from HeyReach webhook to go through these replies. So we're actually actually just iterating through this array and just pulling this thing here if this value is true. So we're only interested in replies that we're getting and we will exclude everything that we sent. So this piece of JavaScript code does exactly that. So when we're saving reply, we have JSON replies. This is this field. So everything new and this is all existing replies. So it will just concatenate and add to each other. That way we are not losing anything from before, but we're just adding to the conversation. So we see more of the same message because this is the only test message we have but this is a test that we're working so as we're going back and forth with this person we'll just have more and more messages that they've sent to us again we'll be notified on slack some notes to be taken here here we have this time date thing to pay attention to and when it comes to smart lead we can just again analyze this and just give some instructions how to parse the sentiment of the message then based on that we can set in a similar fashion we're getting existing email replies from before and just adding new ones to the top and pushing all that into this property also setting up the response sentiment before pushing to hey reach because people can bounce in a campaign for companies running ads as well as someone can bounce in a campaign for companies that are not running ads so this is just a piece of javascript code that just determines whether or not this company is running ads or not based on campaign IDs. So the same thing for no replies. I've split these branches because most people, they never received anything from us. So we might be okay with pushing them to a regular Hey Rich campaign because they never heard them from us. But people that received all the emails but didn't reply, maybe we'll end it in their spam. Maybe they read some of our emails. So we might want to change the copy a little bit. Maybe not. And again, this is determined whether or not they're running ads then pushing them to a separate campaign in theory we can use switch module here i'm just ex software developer that likes to write javascript code so i just use that but if you don't want to use this option you can use switch and just say hey is this id equals to id of the campaign and then have a little bit more branching and the thing that i mentioned in the beginning that this can be running on autopilot is if we keep running this as a um, scheduled table so clay can keep watching for new people and pushing them further and then everything is happening automatically without human intervention or with minimum of human intervention and also one note when we want to trigger the end of the campaign we can just add the manual step and that will trigger further a webhook with this event and then we are doing everything that we've done so far so again you will be able to have this workflow for yourself just connect your own accounts and run with it now you have a complete system for generating a potentially unlimited number of highly qualified leads using N8N, Clay, HeyReach, etc. But there's just one piece of the puzzle. The next question is, what kind of messaging should you send to these people? And that's exactly why I've created a video that you'll see on your screen, where we broke down everything we learned from sending over 5 million LinkedIn DMs. If you're looking to turn these new leads into qualified sales calls and clients, click on the video. See you in the next one.